Ernest Frederick Hollings was born in Charleston, South Carolina on New Year's Day, 1922. Hollings graduated from the Citadel in 1942. He served in World War II as an artillery officer in North Africa and Europe. After the war, he served in the House of Representatives as Lieutenant Governor, and in 1958 was elected Governor of South Carolina. We all have a mutual challenge, one mutual goal, and that is for South Carolina to provide the best opportunity for all its citizens. As governor, Hollings worked to improve the state's educational system and to bring industry and employment opportunities to the state. No worthwhile industry would want to come to, let's say, South Carolina unless it had a fine educational system. Part of Hollings' legacy as governor was the transition to equal rights for all South Carolinians. In November 1966, Fritz Hollings was elected to the U.S. Senate, where he would become a fixture for nearly 40 years. Hollings chaired several important committees and influenced American policy well into the 21st century. In 1970, Hollings authored The Case Against Hunger, based on his tours of poverty-stricken areas of South Carolina. Well, it is shocking that in 1968 it's still this bad. During his long political career, Hollings became known as a moderate who was socially liberal and fiscally conservative. But the senator never failed the people he represented. 